We will, Texas will become the radioactive waste dump site for the entire nation. Andrews County is, and the expansion of this compact um, is one of the critical issues. We cannot have nuclear power plants in this country without a place for the waste to go. 32 years ago, we had the Three Mile Island accident in Pennsylvania where we released radioactive materials out of a plant in an accident. There's still controversy about how much material was released. We have not licensed a plant in this country since that release 32 years ago. There have been no proposals. Right now, there are 22 proposals for the first time in 30 years that are going forward to either expand or relicense plants. If you are a City of Austin utility rate payer, you own a nuclear power plant. You own the South Texas power plant. It is one of the 22 plants in this country that are proposed for expansion. Our political leader said, we shed as a city so much blood over, so much political blood in the 70s over the original nuclear power plant for this city. We're not going there in terms of the expansion. But we do plan to buy the power and we do continue to own the plant. Part of the reason why we own the plant is because people like us worked very hard in the early 80s and we got the city to agree to sell it. No one would buy it. <laughs> That's why you and I still own a power plant. And it's based on economic issues. It has nothing to do with Three Mile. The reason why we haven't opened another power plant is because all of the shareholders who owned power plants lost money. So there was no money to sort of fuel the expansion of future plants. Not only does Barack Obama intend to uh, fund expansion of our nuclear weapons capability, but he has proposed that we as taxpayers will underwrite the expansion of the nuclear power plants. So if the shareholders don't want to take the risks, you and I, as taxpayers in this country, will sign up to take the risks. Nuclear power plants use the most gallons of water per kilowatt hour of energy that's produced. And this power plant will take their water from the very same lake that will feed Austin's water supply when we build water treatment plant number four. Lake Travis is the water supply source for the power expansion down on the coast of that nuclear power plant. They will reopen the mines. The mines, the uranium mines in New Mexico have been closed for 30 years. They've not been cleaned up and we have an obligation uh, a justice obligation to consider those mining implications. Again, these mines are destroying people's livelihoods and their homes and their communities. There's these poor communities that have been impoverished due to historical systems of oppression. And then here comes the big rich coal or uranium or energy resource company um, dangling this carrot of, oh, we'll give you millions or billions of dollars and tons of jobs if you just let us open this mine um, it'll be good for your community, it'll provide opportunity for your children. And then the reality of it is, it forces people into this kind of colonial relationship with the mining company, and also poisons their water, poisons their families, poisons the, the folks who work at mines, um, who then are not covered, like their occupational work-related illnesses are not covered by the insurance that the companies grant them. This is the same kind of story that we have at places like Los Alamos National Laboratory, where nuclear weapons are made, and the same kind of story we have at the Kansas City nuclear plant in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. We think outside the bomb, we're on this disarmament summer campaign this summer, and we're talking about these issues, and we're trying to kind of raise consciousness about the problems, but also posit a solution. I think there's a lot of awareness right now within the general public, um, especially that has been highlighted by the massive oil spill in the Gulf, that fossil fuels are dangerous that they're not worth it. People ripping open mountains for money. Does anyone know how much a ton of coal costs to sell market price value? About $20. With shipping and handling, <laughs> about $20. $5 you can buy a ton of coal from the mine. It costs $5 to buy the coal and 30 bucks to ship it 1,200 miles to Chicago.
it's literally dirt cheap. Some of the solutions that we're, we're trying to bring up with Think Outside the Bomb organizing is um, economic transformation. We currently have an economy where the only real viable industry is military industry. And, we, and it's, you know, it's all for war. Um, all the great technology, all the great scientists, the great minds of our world are focusing on weapons technologies. And we have this huge problem, peak oil, the toxicity caused from coal and uranium mining. We clearly need an alternative energy. We have a, a set of demands. We're focusing on northern New Mexico and Los Alamos specifically as kind of the, this crown jewel of empire, the, the center point of US military and nuclear weapons technologies. We're doing cross-cultural work and organizing with the community in the Española Valley who has the same colonial relationship with the lab and really trying to listen to them and match our demands to what folks there want. What folks there want is jobs because right now they're stuck in this relationship with the lab. So we're asking for jobs that don't kill people. We're asking for expanded healthcare coverage so people who have been working in the labs for 20, 40 years can have their, you know, their <laughs> chemotherapy or their various cancers treated and paid for by the labs. 65% of Los Alamos' budget goes towards making nuclear weapons technologies. 1% goes towards renewable resources, renewable energy resources, uh, which is all ostensibly used for military applications. So, you know, like uh, solar powered guns or Humvees. Uh, ludicrous, right? We're hoping to kind of shift the paradigm of how people conceive of these structures and shift the way in which our taxpayer dollars fund research and technology. Figuring out something to do with 65 years of nuclear waste that's just piling up outside of plants. Water is also a very big part of, it, of our campaign, especially focusing around northern New Mexico. It's the desert. Water is a precious resource. It also has intense spiritual and cultural implications for the people who have lived for thousands of years in northern New Mexico. We're trying to highlight water usage in both the fuel production, the energy production, and the weapons production as a huge catastrophe, a calamity that needs to be stopped. We need to figure out how to clean this water up. And the way we hope to do this is one, through our national tour. We're at the midpoint of our three-month national tour, Austin, Texas. And we're going to continue for another month and a half talking to folks, um, trying to raise awareness and educate folks about these issues, bring it back into our minds. The crown jewel, I'll use that metaphor again, of, of our disarmament summer campaign is a permaculture and uh, direct action training encampment that will be in northern New Mexico. And basically what we're going to do there is situate ourselves in the Española Valley, which is the valley directly below the mountain that Los Alamos is built on, and literally construct the systems that we want to see replace their systems. So we're going to be working on per, uh, building sustainable permaculture technologies there, um, on the land that will stay when we're done. We're going to work on cross-cultural organizing and nonviolent conflict resolution, um, horizontal organizing and all that. So learning how to cooperate amongst ourselves in sustainable relationships. And uh, there's also going to be a big direct action on August 6th, which is the 65th anniversary of the US atomic bombing of Hiroshima. The bomb is turning 65. It's time to retire. Me all the power in the world. No, 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 cannot stop me from believing in myself. Mm -mm. I got a fire in my heart telling me, keep on moving. It's like a freight train rumbling through telling me, keep on moving.